Ron is outside. He's with Jeffrey back. Uh, Ron, is this his costume or what is going on here? Well, there are a lot of zombies around and uh, Jeffrey here is a zombie survivalist and you got to be in great shape if you're going to beat the zombies. Right. That is and, and by right. the way, Jeffrey is from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. Yes. And Ron, rule number one okay. for surviving a zombie attack is cardio. Yeah. And so I've devised a ladder drill circuit the viewers at home can do two to three times a week to improve their cardiovascular endurance. Okay, well, let's see what we got to do to protect to ourselves this, from Ron? zombies. We're going to start by doing some side steps. Okay, let's see your side so, steps. So we're just going to place both feet in each box. Yes, come on, Ron, let's do this. Beautiful. And of course, you're going to come back. Oh, yeah. As well. This helps to improve lateral quickness. Comes in handy when you have a zombie jumping out at you from a closet or a bathroom stall and you need to get a quick getaway. Yeah, you got to be careful around those bathroom stalls. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the next one we're going to do is the side straddle hop. Go something like this straddle the ladder. Put both feet in each box as you come down the line here. I remember my hopscotch days. What about you? <laughs> it is reminiscent <laughs> of that, Ron. Yes, and then you're going to come back just like so, not touching your feet together as you do the I think the hopping. if a zombie saw you coming at him like that, they'd probably run. Yeah, that's, that's true. Or, or this katana blade if it doesn't scare them away. Okay. Next, we're going to do the five hop and run. So quickly hop in five boxes and then one step it. Oh, I like that one. The rest okay. of the way. Great for quick getaways when hordes of zombies are coming at you. All right. And then at what point do you use the sword? Well, if I've got a one on one attacker, but if I've got a horde of zombies, I, I tend to run. OK. That's, that's uh, a good tip for the people at home. This is this called is the a good karaoke. One too, but I'm not quite athletic enough to do that one. So you're going to cross one foot in front of the other, in front and back. Great for limbering up the torso, which is rule number 18. Now, do you ever do one-legged exercises in case you lose a leg fighting? That's on? correct. Yes. Okay. The single leg uh, shuffle. So let me go on this side. Actually, okay. I'm gonna put one foot in each box. The other foot stays on the outside, constantly moving the feet, just like okay. that. Yeah, I did. I did the whole thing. <laughs> And, and you can tell when Jeffrey's winded, it is a great exercise. All right, thank you very much for coming in. I hope that you stay safe through tomorrow, especially with the onslaught of zombies. Yes. Okay, some great exercises. Well, Jeffrey's prepared. He's got yes. us all ready as well. He is. That's right. Limbering up the hips, rule yeah, number I, 18. I think you need a little work, Ron. I always do. Yeah, the zombies you might need would get weapon. you. Yeah. yeah. I wish I knew what you were saying. <laughs> Yes, we are. Okay. We need to get him an IFB next time. We do. Time. We definitely do.